Dylan Dennis Logan poll is on today and I'm gonna break it down really quick before we hop into it make sure to like subscribe to all that YouTube shit gonna love there's not that much footage of Dylan Dennis so I'm gonna break down some of the clips I've seen some of the sparring gonna break down some of Logan against Floyd Obviously, it's a little bit of a weird one and some Logan uh, sparring footage too. So let's hop right into it, boys. Now, as I was saying, there's not a whole lot of Dylan Dennis's sparring footage. Looking at it, most of the time he's at MMA gyms. Don't ask me why. Dylan Dennis, bro, come on, bro. Like the first thing, Dylan, why the fuck are you sparring in MMA gyms, bro? Spar at a boxing gym. And I understand I've got clips of him, spa him sparring Poetan, him sparring Conor McGregor, him sparring these elite MMA strikers. But... MMA striking and boxing striking is very different. The distance is very different. The weapons you can get hit with are very different. What you need to watch out for is, is very different. It's just weird. Why would you do that? Why would you not go to a boxing gym? There's no reason to not. But looking at this sparring footage, here he is fighting against this guy. First of all, the guy has shin pads on, shows you it's an MMA gym. There's some... I don't know, he throws some weird stuff, Dylan Dennis, he kind of throws these slap body shots, you see Logan do the same thing, they're both victim to just not having very good technique, Dylan, the one thing you can say about Dylan is that he gets out of shots, he gets out of the way of shots pretty well, he does decent at, you know, moving his feet, at uh, moving his head, at seeing where shots are coming from, but from the sparring clip, you can't, like, you can't get a whole lot from that, onto a sparring with Poetan, Poetan's trying to throw head kicks and stuff, which is just, it's just messing up your range for boxing. Just messing up what range you can get hit at, what range you can't get hit at. And trust me, Poetan is a very, he's an elite striker. If he got in there with Logan Paul, Logan Paul would need a fucking casket ringside, yeah, to take him out in. But, this is, this is, an, MMA, this is an MMA gym, you're wearing shin guards, you're practicing your leg kicks, you're not practicing boxing, you're not sparring, really. And if you are sparring, why are you... Like, you know what you're meant to do. Even here, the sparring's in 0.25x, so it's really hard to tell what he's good at, what he's bad at. What's even going on here? Like, can you even get a semblance of how good he is? I suppose that body shot is decent. I can see that, like, his technique is all right. You can see there a nice little head movement, kind of like a nice little shoulder roll on top. But once again, you've got those sloppy, weird punches. The only real sparring footage that we have for Dylan Dennis is the one that Logan Paul reviewed. I'll go to that one after. You can see decent head movement. He's got a high guard. If you can keep that high guard up and just counter Logan Paul, he should be in decent shape looking at Logan Paul. But once again, not much you can review here. Okay, this is a... This is Logan Paul. I'll be real, bro. I don't like Logan Paul. I don't like him at all. I just dislike the guy. I just dis I dislike him as a person. There's very few people I'll say that about on the internet because I don't know them personally. And like, I feel like people can be putting on a character. They can be doing all of this shit. I, I dislike Logan Paul. Um, but do I think he's a shit boxer? Yes. Do I think he's technically gifted? Yes. Kind of one of those things where we'll look at it, we'll look at it a lot when I'm reviewing him against Floyd, him sparring. But this is him talking about Dylan Dennis' sparring footage. Um, we see here, bang, he throws... The shots aren't great. It's once again these slappy punches. Dad, I don't know. Logan Paul's talking shit about that, but you should see the, the way that this guy, Logan fucking Paul, punches. Holy shit, bro. I nearly got sick watching him punch. Um, you can see that this is a weird one. It's He trains with Conor McGregor, Dylan Dennis. This is a Conor McGregor light combo where you kind of uppercut into something else, except for he's just swapped it around. It's straight into an uppercut. Uh, but once again, it's a, it's a mixed martial arts combo. It's not a, it's not a boxing combo. It just, it's just not a boxing combo because you're at a different range and there's different stuff that works in mixed martial arts and in boxing because you're at different ranges and there's different stuff you can get hit with. No one in boxing is afraid that they're going to hit with a leg kick. No one in boxing is afraid that, that they're going to hit with an elbow. So, uh, so the range of where you're safe, which is why I was talking about sparring at MMA gym, sparring at boxing gym, the range of where you're safe, what you're going to get hit with, what someone else thinks they can get hit with is different completely. So, mm. Don't know. I don't know why he's laughing at him because Logan, you're just a dog shit. Looking at Logan Paul, some Logan Paul sparring footage. Let me hold back. Let me hold back. The way he throws this uppercut is just stupid. Why are you throwing your uppercut like this? You're throwing your uppercut up into the sky because you're missing an uppercut and any good boxer counters you. Look at where your left hand is. Your left hand is on the fucking floor. You might as well just scream. I want to get hooked. I want to get hooked. 
You'll find any good boxer, they know that. Look at what he's talking about, this gunshot body shot. All of your weight is on your back foot, not your front foot. It's all, none of it is technique. It's purely just because you're naturally gifted. You've got zero technique. This body shot isn't a good body shot. Look where you end up. Look at the body shot. If he blocks that and counters you, you're fucked. Look at where your right arm is. Your right arm's in no man's land. It's just protecting, I don't know, protecting the side of you or something. You've got no defensive skills. You've got him backed up into a corner. You throw an arm body shot. This is not a body shot where you're getting your hips into it. If you look at how a shot's meant to be, you're meant to get your hip right into that and make sure that you're turning over on the shot. You can see he has a little bit of turn in his knee, but after you throw an uppercut, he throws the uppercut. The weight comes back onto his back foot. He should push off his back foot onto his front foot and use the weight on his front foot to push into that body shot. He doesn't do that. It's just purely a slap body shot and he puts the guy down because he's naturally strong and because he's on more fucking juice than Brock Lesnar, bro. Don't, don't, don't talk about boxing. Let's go to Logan Paul. Let's talk about Logan Paul. I was reviewing Logan Paul against, uh, against Floyd Mayweather. You can see, that I'll show you that he's still got the same technique. He hasn't improved. He has, he's only boxed once a week. How's the guy going to improve boxing once a week? Let's take a look at his fight against uh, against Floyd Mayweather. I've got a whole folder of stuff to talk about. Why did, I, why did I have to start with something good? Why did I have to start with something good? If you watch my KSI Dylan Dennis breakdown, you can see that uh, I talk about how, how, how you're meant to throw a body jab and how KSI throws them wrong. He does have his head up when he throws a body jab. It's just impossible to hit Floyd Mayweather. That one is shit. That one is terrible. That one's thrown with absolutely zero intention to hit anybody. I don't know what he's swinging at. He's like he half throws it. You know what I mean? What is that? That's not a body shot. That's also right to his dick. Zero defense there. There's no defense. Once again, his other hand is just a no man's land. He's just not thinking about it defensively. He's like he's never been hit before in his life. Let's go into more technique from Mr. It's a gunshot kid. Technique, yeah? This guy's got technique. Let's see. Let's see what he's throwing. Is that a good shot technically, Logan? Is that a good shot? Who taught you that shot? Because I know damn well, I know your coach. Well, I don't know him personally, but I know who he's trained. I know he's trained Lomachenko. Lomachenko is one of the most talented boxers ever. If you want to actually watch like a real good boxer, bro, watch Vasily Lomachenko. Holy, such a nice boxer to watch. Just unbelievably good. Let's 0.25x this. Is a good shot, Logan? Is, it, is this a good technical shot? Because one, not only do you telegraph the shot, you're fine Floyd Mayweather. He's going to see the shot a mile away. Tries to faint. You're not even throwing it from the right place. Yeah. And second of all, this shot, you are so unbelievably exposed here because you just don't care about defense. There's no, there's not a defensive bone in his body. They think, well, maybe my hand shouldn't be there. Maybe I shouldn't super over commit to this punch because I could get countered. Like everyone tells you, it's like one of the first things you know in boxing, okay? You see it a lot with hooks. When people are throwing hooks, when you throw a hook, yeah, most of the time you're thinking, well, a hook's a powerful punch, so I can just throw all the way through it and throw it like this. You learn pretty fast. If you fight good boxers, if you have a good coach to teaching you stuff technically, I know his coach is technically sound. His coach is better than probably any coach I've ever had in my life. When you throw that hook, you shouldn't throw it full force unless you think the guy's really, really on the ropes, yeah, where you're just swinging at it. You shouldn't throw it like that. You should throw it like this. Make sure that it's not going full force so that if he does slip it, if he does get away from it, you still have this protection here. He instead is just throwing this big, wild overhand. Yeah. And he's got zero, zero protection. If Floyd came back here with an uppercut, he's finished. The guy's knocked out clean. Is that good technique? Let's go more. I've got a whole folder. Once again, a little bit annoying, but it's a good body job. He does have a good body job. He throws this body job well. Throws it to the body, throws it to the body nicely, you know, gets in, ducks away, and um, pulls away from any shots that are returning, keeps his head up, make sure that you can see the shots. He did well there. Logan, 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 Mr. Good Technique. You can see this is in 0.25 for a reason. Um, you're insulting Dylan Danis's uppercuts. Maybe you should, you know, take a look in the mirror, take a look inward, take a look at how you throw an uppercut. Because Floyd Mayweather must have been, I don't know, Floyd Mayweather must have grown about three feet. Because look where his arm ends up. He nearly hit himself in the head. He nearly knocked himself out. He was close to knocking himself out. Then he was knocking Floyd out. And that's probably the moral of the story with this fight. Logan, where is this punch going? 
This bunch is going absolutely nowhere. You know that, like, look how fucking hard he tries to throw that punch. That punch legit swings all the way up here. His arm is up here. What are you doing? Once again, we're back to Mr. Technique, Logan Paul. Let's take a look at, you know, you're meant to punch with your legs, with your hips. You're meant to really twist into punches. Is this, is this, is this twisting into punches, Logan? Does this look like twisting into punches to you? Because it doesn't to me. But they're all arm punches, Logan. So what's going on here? Because they're all arm punches, every single one. I said I'm trying my best not to be biased. I'll point out stuff that's good about Logan. I'll point out stuff that's bad about Logan. This is a nice check hook, and it's a shot that I think will work against Dylan. If Dylan tries to lean in and clinch, use that wrestling, that's good. Is re I told you, naturally, he's a good boxer. Naturally, Logan Paul is a good boxer. Naturally. But, but it's everything else that isn't natural. That he thinks he's so good naturally that he can beat everybody. No, you're not. You might be able to beat Log you might be able to beat Dylan naturally, yeah? But if you get in there with even a half decent boxer, you're gonna get fucked up. You get in with your brother Jake, your brother Jake's gonna fuck you up. I promise you we would. That's a decent check hook though, and it'll be a good weapon to use against Dylan. Logan Paul, once again, Mr. Technique, you know what I mean? Really good technique. Talking about Dylan's technique. That was a nice overhand, Logan. That nearly fucking hit the floor. Your hand legit nearly hit the floor. Let's take uh, uh, let's take another look at this. Let's take another look at this overhand. Bear in mind, this is round three. You're cycling more than fucking prime Alistair Overeem, bro. You're telling me that your cardio can't last a round three with all them big muscles and all that fucking testosterone in your system? Where's this punch going, Logan? Where's it going? Because you actually nearly fucking touched the floor. You might as well give him a standing 10 count. His knee was nearly down on the floor here. Look at that shit, bro. Leaping in. There's not a... The, once again, great defensive. The almighty defensive technique, Logan Paul, bro. Where is his hands, bro? He's trying to fucking, he's trying to, he's trying to hit the soldier boy, bro. He's trying to hit the soldier boy with his hands in the fucking, with his hands in Neverland. Logan didn't know what kind of punch Dylan was throwing. Was he throwing an uppercut or a cross? Logan, I've, I can present this example to you. I don't know what you were trying to do here. I don't know what was going on here. You're trying to bonk him on the head. You're trying to hit him with a little bump right on the head. You, you know, you know, you're meant to hit him with the knuckles, right? You're not trying to hit him like that. I did talk about Logan Paul and his weight transfer when I was talking about uh, what he's throwing. Here is another example of him just not being good at transferring his weight into punches. The power from your punches doesn't come from your arms. It comes from your hips and your legs. Your legs is where you see someone like uh, Javante Davis and Mike Tyson. Someone like that who's really punching all you know, those big uppercuts, yeah? That's where the power comes from. Logan, there is no weight transfer in that punch. None. There's no way chance for not uppercut. And the uppercut's pretty fast, but that's just talent. That ain't no technique. Bear in mind, I've got, what, four more clips left? And I've only, I only watched five rounds. I watched five rounds and I said, Jesus, bro, this is going to be too long if I put all of this shit in. I've had to cut some of it out. Anyway, here's more technique from Logan Paul. That's a great shot, Logan. That's a great shot. Really defensively sound. This fucking idiot. Let me make myself a little bit shorter. There's some people that tried to say that Floyd Mayweather, I know I swapped from side to side, it's just to make it a little bit easier. There's some people that say that Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather didn't hold back in this fight. Some people say that he was trying in the fight. Let me just show you an instance, okay? Where Floyd Mayweather's boxing mind was like, yeah, I'm going to kill him with this shot. And then he had to hold back. He had to read it back in and go, hold on, Floyd. Chill out, bro. Chill out, Floyd. Look right here. Look at this arm, this left hook. You're going to see it around the 34 second mark. Watch. Look at Logan Paul's hand here. Down. Because he's tired. Six rounds in. It's understandable to be tired six rounds in. But you can't lose concentration. And your fight against Dylan's going to be six rounds. And I promise you he ain't going to hold back. Look. He goes to Twitch. You saw it? You might not have seen it. I'll put it in 0.25x. Let's see. Because Logan, he nearly let fucking loose. You can see the weight distribution that I'm talking about. See, you see the way Floyd, all of his weight is on this front lead hook. And it's for a reason. It's because his boxing man is going, you see his hands, hit him with it, hit him with it. And he just stops himself right there. You see he's about to throw it and he stops himself. Look, he was definitely holding back this fight. Like, it's just a guarantee. Anyway, going into my prediction, Logan Paul is shit, but he's going to beat Dylan Dallas. I'm sorry to say that. Because I like Dylan Dennis going into the break, into the build up of the fight. 
They're both scam their fans, they're both scumbags, but Logan Paul's a bigger scumbag than Dylan Dennis. It takes Logan Paul to make Dylan Dennis look like a good person, which is kind of fucking crazy. But um, I think Logan Paul will win. I think he'll win fairly decisively. I think it'll probably be a decision. I think there's going to be a lot of clinching. I think it's going to be a fun fight. I think Logan Paul will win via unanimous decision. I don't think it's going to be a fun fight. I think it's going to be overhyped. But uh, yeah, that's it, boys. Uh, if you like the video, like, sub, you know what I mean? If you dislike Logan Paul, drop a comment. If you like Logan Paul, drop a comment. If you think I'm wrong about everything I say and I'm stupid, drop a comment. Tell me that I'm dumb and tell me why I'm dumb. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch all you boys in the next one. Peace.